Now, as the devil united false thing that you call Christianity, now he's about to end it. Yeah, he's a, he began it. He started it. Satan created Christian religion. Anybody can answer a Christian. So don't end with the end of Christianity. Don't end alongside with the end of Christianity because Christianity is about to end. Mark my words. I will destroy any system that reflects Christianity in this place. I will kill it. Christianity is not ending, rather your force will be end. Christianity is not ending. If you're tired of Christianity, hand over, hand over your merchandise. Hand over your merchandise. Christianity will not end. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. How are you doing today? God bless you. Now, I want to warn those that are that love their pastor or their love of whatever they are to you more than Christ. I'm giving you warning here now. If you can say anything to me on this video, you can insult me or do anything. But in your advice, don't you ever ask me why am I making this video? If you ask me that, I will block you. Um, why I will block you if you ever ask me that is because I got this video from John Anos Ike's channel. So, so if you want to ask, go and ask him why did he also make this and put it where people will have access to it and people are giving it. As at the time of me making this video, um, publicly this video has received about 32,000 views from Anno CK's followers so and there are other channels that have carried the same video so don't come to ask me why am I making this video I'm polarizing the body of Christ I'm attacking the body of Christ I've always accepted that but this time around particularly on this video if you ask me that sorry I will block you and um, God bless you you will still be seeing my channel uh, but you will not be able to write things anymore God bless you thank you now everybody um, we are grappling with the issues that were raised by Joshua Selman and uh, Joseph Suleiman and recently um, Ritabai. Now, there was also a man in Ghana also who said certain trash about the Apostle Paul. And this time around, Anosike is not even limiting his just on the Bible. He is attacking the, uh, the entirety of Christianity and he has vowed that he will destroy Christianity. It has its reasons. Um, I do not understand, but I think his own response and attack on the Bible is worse. He's not only attacking Apostle Paul now, he's not measuring it on Apostle Paul alone, but the the entirety of the bible now, i would like you to um sit relax and also listen to this you know i've made some videos about anosike and um, <laughs> this one is uh, is one of the worst that i've ever seen you know a man also will make against himself this is terrible i must tell you it is very very terrible so here we are we have um, anosike's video and message so i will actually be responding to it um, line by line i may not waste a lot of time because a lot of time because i have actually done enough on this um, uh, people I'm, I'm trying to be very careful with this i'm trying to you know to control myself from this um, but i don't know how far we get with this you see i'm going to tell you something that will warn you ahead of time and also offend some of you even now i want you to understand that when the antichrist will come when the beast will be here many of your so-called men of god pastors will be the ones that will encourage you to take the mark of the beast because they will be the forerunners of the antichrist they are already running for the antichrist they are already preparing his seat they are the john the baptist of the antichrist now mark my words i said many of your so-called mega church pastors and leaders it may not be the persons you know but mark them because by their fruits you shall know them if anybody begins to attack his root then something is wrong with him so many of them have enriched themselves with the same bible that they have they have suddenly woken up to the reality that the bible has been you know uh doctored and so many things that are not right inserted into it and a case grouse against the bible and christianity is because he is being criticized is being checked now so instead of him to look inward he begins to attack the bible the same the very essence of his so-called anointing and existence in the in the church let me not say so much because i'm going to uh say some things along the line but let us listen to hanosike here <laughs> Mia corte shall see fito a grande and a matter. Ah, 
the end of religion has come so this is actually that tongue that he spoke that was the meaning of the tongue that he spoke and you see why i am so ashamed and troubled for for i don't know if i will even call them church is that in that in that church now does it mean that everybody everybody is just the same thing the brain of all the humans you know in this kind of places are remote remote to, remote to be to be going one-sided and to be resilient one-sided and that was the interpretation of that song but you have not heard anything and i'm just i'm just feeling so disgusted about this i know this will provoke you now but i don't care the end of christianity has come yeah. <laughs> christianity has been judged so the shaking is Christianity, it's against Christianity, not Ecclesia. Ah. There is an exposure happening. And these are the rotting roots and the principalities in Christianity. God is God has judged Christianity, has silenced Christianity. The world has power over Christianity because they created Christianity. <laughs> So, so, so Christianity is a counterfeit of the ecclesia of God. So over the years, everybody has taken the mark of Christianity. Now it is quite unfortunate. Um, you know why we are perceiving, why we are seeing these kind of uh, things in the church is because the church, of course, we are not like Islam. We are not like the Muslims that fight for their God. Now what he's saying is tantamount to a person saying that uh, you know the 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 movement, the religion, Muslim, the Islamic religion, you know, has been destroyed or will be destroyed. You see, when even Jesus himself said talked about the temple even though he was uh, metaphorically speaking about his own body as the temple you know the uproar that greeted that kind of statement but jesus the lord was speaking how be it about his death and his resurrection when he said pull down this temple and in three days i will resurrect it now um i i, I don't know how it was the world <laughs> that forged and formed christianity he will explain anyway but all those explanations all these explanations you're seeing i want you to understand that this is whether you like it or not this is god in a way allowing these people to shoot themselves in the leg but what i said and what i see that is so troubling and disturbing is that these people with the kind of influence and domination they have over the souls of the people that follow them it is terrible it is horrible it is frightening that people can stand you know and you i don't i don't really understand how they do it and uh, not a lot not all of them are diabolical but uh, a lot of them are uh you know the, the processes of using the word to brainwash people words not the word of god now yeah, they use the same bible to brainwash a lot of persons and these people are clapping for nonsense so look at you know the kind of of ovation that greeted that announcement that christianity is coming to an end christianity has been judged and the whole assembly they were not even shocked because i expected them to be shocked i expected them to be alarmed as in what do you mean even before he goes ahead to he went ahead to explain what he meant but he was greeted with so much so 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 much um applause so satan and his government now have stricken have stuck that's why everybody is talking against pastors bishop everywhere and so, but they don't know that god has preserved for himself god has preserved for himself on the fire as a god has preserved come on oh hallelujah remnants on the fire sons of god across the nations if you don't have understanding of the timing and the happenings in these last days you will drift away oh yeah 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 definitely you will drift away and a lot of persons are definitely going to drift away with precious precious that i don't even know if he can be uh termed to be very charismatic because i don't see any charisma around him but then let's let's say okay that uh you know he has some appealing looks and has uh you know um intimidating voice and intimidating appearance he bullies people with his words and the other time he told his leaders if any of them dare to correct him he will kick them out out of the room 
you know, and kick them outside. So you see, it's a booby, and um, you see, it is the end time indeed. It is quite the end time. And like I, I told you, mark the word. So many of these patients are the ones that will mislead some of you in accepting the mark of the beast. Listen, what happened between December 2019 to 2021 when there was you know something that you know was legalized and was made almost mandatory that everybody must take you see that me i know it was not i know it was not the mark of the beast you know like i told some people and they insulted me i knew it was not the mark of the beast but i knew that just as a lot of these sweet talking people you know sweet talk their congregation into accepting that thing that is also how it will come because so many of them have lost the vision of heaven and they are propagating and preaching their own gospel now please uh, 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 sorry because i really don't know what to say about this but this is a time bomb i mean this the red flags the red flags are everywhere you can only blame yourself if you say you don't see it and if you will tell the stories of that time that you didn't know you are being warned now this is the end time thank god that i'm alive in this time thank god that i'm, a, I'm I, I don't know about you thank god that i'm alive in this seasons i tell you that's the truth jesus did not introduce jesus did not bring christianity throughout the ministry of jesus on earth and when he resurrected accepted the church begun the ecclesia the nation of christ all right he did not in any way introduce to us christianity he did not show me where jesus mentioned a christian a christianity he's not done anywhere peter didn't preach christianity paul didn't preach christianity actually christians or christians was first mentioned in antioch by the heathen who called the disciples of jesus christians these are imitators in fact in reality counterfeits of jesus yes these are like people who 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 pretend to be like christ they are they are followers of christ so we are not followers of christ we are co-heir yes. yes. the bible says for you are heirs come on heirs with christ co-laborers with christ we are the sons of god jesus was the first son of god and we are the many sons that have come by christ hallelujah sons of god and as much as what he is trying to explain here looks to be or, or is sounding to be true is sounding to be okay but it is ridiculous first and foremost we are followers of christ and the people who were addressed as christians first in in um in acts of the apostles chapter 11 verse 26 christians that is follower of christ a lot of these preachers have made it like what he said now that they said you know that that name was coined out of mockery um there's no basis for that there's no basis for anybody to think that they were called christians to mock them now if your father is a hero and anybody calls you and identifies you with your father by your father and you say that is a mockery now it depends on how you see your father if you see your father as a failure as a villain and someone calls you by your father that that is how you, you see it now you know in the jewish culture when jesus was alive when they wanted to really call him they would rather call him the son of him, of mary instead of son of joseph the carpenter you know how the culture you know used to work in those days that you know when a man is called after his mother it means it means a, a you know a lot of demeaning for the person now so now when someone looks at the people monitor them let's even read that place the bible says in from verse 25 then departed Barnabas to Tarsus for to seek Saul. When he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. And in these days came prophets from Jerusalem unto Antioch. Now, so after staying within that area for one year the effect of the church was felt in felt in the community in antioch and so the people could not but understand that there was a certain man who and it they may, they may not even have known christ but the the profession of the disciples as they began to witness and talk about christ they are talking about christ you know so people could have seen this as the movement movement of a certain person known, you know said to be christ some of them may have also known when christ was alive and they probably they have observed their ways of life and concluded these people must have been with christ these people must have seen christ these people must have stayed with christ but most importantly i don't 
I don't know how it is a problem. Now, anybody you see that has issues with Christianity, as in the you know the name Christian, has a problem with himself. That person has a personal problem. You know, people like J Israel. J Israel has come out and for a very long time, China attacked Christianity. You know, when he would misbehave and come back and people would bash him. At some point in time, he said he has stopped being a Christian. And you know, though we were trying to help him that time to you know to see if he can fall in rightly until he went berserk and now he's doing his own thing all right anybody that has issues and look you heard it from him his problem now his issues with christians you cannot separate the church from from christianity you cannot separate christianity from the church and i want you to understand that the true ecclesia is not that crowd that he's gathering it's not that crowd that he has gathered not that crowd that he is he is deceiving with with empty philosophies of human wisdom we are the object of god's love we're the expression, the conquest, the fruit of redemption, the revelation of the conquest of Calvary. Hallelujah. The dwelling place of Yeshua, the habitation of Christ, the temple of God, the holy of holies. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Leko paradisha. So I retrieve to fellowship on the inside. No matter how you phrase it, Oga, no matter how you phrase it, we are Christians. We, we are not ashamed to be followers of Christ. Apostle Paul said that we should be followers of him as he is followers, followers of Christ. Now, I am a follower of Christ, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith. Now, if Jesus is my Lord and I am being discipled by his spirit, I am a follower of Christ every other thing every other grammar that you brought in very correct but then it will not work we are Christians Christianity has done you no harm Christianity has done you no wrong what is dealing with some of you are the extra biblical teachings that you're bringing in now you see I'm, I'm sure that he's so pained because when he requested for eight hundred thousand dollars from people that received backlash and I'm sure he got it he got that money so you have received your money okay let me not say I'm sure he may have gotten it right so don't be angry go ahead and use it the way you want to use it but the end will justify or you know condemn whoever that has used the name of Christ whoever that has used the name of Christ tell me I know the 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 visa you are looking for from the from from the from the US government when they put you when they give you form and probably there is a space for religion I hope you will not put Christianity there because if you put Christianity there I, I don't know what I will say I hope you won't put Christianity there mm. you will put that you are holy of holies in, uh, inside be holy of holies there I, you know, hear me? I retrieve to fellow Sip on the inside because right on the inside is the holy of holies the holy of holies christ indwells your spirit he indwells your temple and tonight i want you to wake up to who you are are you hearing me now as the devil united false christianity false thing that you call christianity now he's about to end it yeah he's a, he begun it he started it satan created christian religion and that's why it is a religion now so what he's saying now is that uh, even apostle peter also who admonished the church in first peter chapter 4 verse 16 he said yet if any man so far as a christian let him not be ashamed but let him glorify god on this behalf apostle peter used the word christian at least the word christian or christians uh we can say happened in the scriptures in the new testament three times first of, of it was in acts of the apostles chapter 11 verse 26 and the second was in acts 26 to 8 when uh, agrippa said to paul almost persuaded down me to become a christian you know and peter now i was mission the church if anybody suffer as a christian let him not be ashamed but let him glorify god on this behalf so um anosike and his ilks no matter your 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 angst against you know criticisms against i mean there are pastors that have not been criticized and you know that are not being criticized concretely because you can't if you, you can just rise up because you want to criticize somebody you're just saying things you're just saying things you're not making sense there are so many uh preachers that are there they're also popular they have big congregation but you don't even have anything to pin on them you know few of them has been the issues of tithes and offering and all that 
which is a general thing because most pastors collect tithes. Most pastors, almost, almost all pastors collect tithes. Almost all pastors, in fact, there is no church where you go to, they don't talk about money. Now, uh, for a person that has issues against a particular pastor, he may pick up those things. But there is what we call abuse. When it becomes so much, then it becomes an abuse. So, now, but should every pastor that has been criticized now come out and say Christianity was a formation by the devil? It's terrible. Not the reality. Anybody can answer a Christian. Anybody. Are you hearing me? So he's about to end it. So don't end with the end of Christianity. Christianity is not ending. Rather, your force will be end. Christianity is not ending. If you're tired of Christianity, hand over, hand over your merchandise. Hand over your merchandise. Christianity will not end. It is, it is, even though we know that false teachers are synonymous with end time so people like you also may not end because if we don't have people like you then it means that the bible is not true but because the bible is true the bible you are seeking to discredit prophesied of persons and people like you you didn't hear me i said don't end with the end don't end alongside with the end of christianity because now look at you see this things the all the extra actions and scenes you are seeing in this video i didn't put them here they did that this video i just got it from them like this all right now so what does this tell you empty church so he is predicting that there will be a time that people will no longer be in, in you know in the church even though he claimed to be to be talking about the end of christianity and the beginning of a new era of the you know the true ecclesia now these are empty chairs in a church setting and then inserting this in here means that he is predicting and prophesying that there will be a time that people will have no nothing to do with true religion true christianity you know true gathering of brethren in a church form in a church setting what does that tell you i mean what does that tell you i didn't put this in here they did they did and you don't think that they just inserted it this is to tell you that oh what he's saying is about to fulfill is going to be fulfilled and it is going to be fulfilled in this form that a time is coming where you walk into the church you know into a building like this and you won't see worshipers there you won't see people there that is his prediction because christianity is about to end mark my words and that's why i will destroy any system that reflects christianity in this place i will kill it completely kill it definitely the system that you are building or you have built has no resemblance of christianity it has nothing to do with christianity so you don't even need to bother yourself trying to kill it because it was not existing in the first place so relax and enjoy yourself with your members that you have gathered you know the the gullible people that cannot that cannot even talk to you the elders you have the deacons you have the leaders you have that you know have been so intimidated that when you are wrong they clap for you because you've told them already that if any of them should near you to tell you that you are wrong you will kick them out they don't have the right to talk to you now if the leaders and so some of them actually have passed scores you know if the leaders those of them at the front row of, of the sitting formation in the church cannot talk to you um, how much more the members who don't know anything the members who just come to church and they are fed with what you have and then they go so don't bother to end anything don't bother to kill anything you don't have anything to kill there is nothing resembling christianity in your fold so keep on doing your business it is well are you hearing me i don't care what they say they talk against me one man everywhere on youtube you've not even seen anything we won't shut up and i won't shut up and yet you two have not seen anything because the moment you as you are veering off now completely as you are you know taking your church off the you know the 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 line of christianity who knows whether you are you are taking them into courtism whatever maybe there is a, a new formation of court that you are preparing for them we will, we will understand as days go back now we will also talk to you talk about you in the light of a former christian preacher who has deviated and took his people along with him and we will only stop talking about you if you stop using the bible now even though that you have also the, the, kind of discredited the bible if you stop using our bible we will stop talking about you but in as much as you're using our bible no matter how much you try we will find you and we will talk about you not talking <laughs> get ready this year nobody comes here nobody comes here i entered facebook live <laughs> the hour has come to deliver God's people from the deception of Christianity. We have access to the living book because the book they are fighting us with 
And the book, these people are talking to, you're a liar, you're a wrong teacher, you're this, you're this, you're this, you're that. That book was written by me. This is his problem, all right? And in fact, the, <laughs> this infuriates me. But you see, I've been very calm. And thank God that we have a community here that know the truth. Even though there are sporadic uh, individuals whose brain and skulls are patched, like, you know, someone you're seeing now here, uh, there are some of them that have scars on their, in their brain. Their brains cannot, they cannot articulate well anymore. So that is why you see a Christian saying this kind of a thing against the Bible. He has used the Bible to amass wealth. He has used the Bible to enrich himself. That is popular today. The Bible, he used the Bible to get here. Now, because he cannot no longer stand it. All right. The days and the time of let them do whatever they like. Let them say whatever they, they you know, they, <laughs> they like. Those days are gone. Now, these days, people are, have access to the book, the Bible. And when you say, I mean, this thing started from even the time of the Acts of the Apostles. When Apostle Paul came to teach them, the Bible talked about the Bereans who would go back home and want to search the scripture to find out whether everything Paul said to them were so. And the Bible said they were more honorable. But we have people these days who are so angry that, um, you know, people are beginning to read their Bible and people are finding loopholes from what they are saying. And so they must destroy these people. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 17, I read from verse 10. At the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind, and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. Therefore, many of them believed also of honorable women, which were Greeks, and of men a few. But when the Jews of Thessalonica had knowledge that the word of God was preached of Paul at Berea, they came thither also and stirred up the people. You see, so the Bereans, they took it upon themselves, and these were no mean men. Now, the fact that their, their knowledge, they are trying to find out whether the things Paul was saying were true according to the scriptures and this also goes a long way to establish the writings of paul as not contradictory at all because we had men and women who had the knowledge and the understanding to at least try and vet what paul was saying with the authority of that time which was the scriptures of that time both the prophets and the laws to find out if paul was contradicting those and he never did they believed them all and it, you, you you cannot say they were common men there were men of renown among them educated people even greeks amongst them now something happened that people who had you know who were incensed against them people like anosike you know when they heard that this gospel had been preached in berea and these people were eager searching to find out whether it was true they came up and incited the people against paul and silas against the brethren you know they stirred them up i think that that's what the bible that's what the bible is saying here they stirred up the people and then immediately the brethren sent away paul to go as it were to the sea but silas and Timotheus abode there still so now no matter how much you try there will always be remnants your attacks you know, against us on YouTube, giving us copyright strikes, will not stop us. By the grace of God, there will always be remnants. Even if Paul was sent to the sea now, Timotheus and Silas will always remain. Now, you have not seen anything yet. So, go ahead and establish your own movement. Leave Christianity alone. Leave the Bible alone. You see, that, that, that book was written by men. It was no longer inspired by God. I think I have to rewind this portion a bit. Let's hear him again. Life, the hour has come to deliver God's people from the deception of Christianity. We have access to the living book because the book they are fighting us with and the book these people are talking to, you're a liar, you're a wrong teacher, you're this, you're this, you're this, you're that. That book was written by men, compiled by men. Before they released it, how many things did they distort? So if you are a Christian and you don't find anything wrong with Anosike, then something is wrong with you. If you are a Christian, you claim to follow Christ and you don't find anything wrong with what Anusike is saying, please follow him and stop identifying yourself also as a Christian. Begin to identify yourself as a uh, Anusikaites, if that is what we call it. Oh no, but this is this is this is painful. This is disgraceful. Okay. Before they released it, how many things did they distort? Meaning that the Bible can be done away with because it is not authentic. That is what it is. Now look at an enemy within. I mean the enemy. Outside, this is a pure enemy of, of Christ. Remember what I told you 
Many of your pastors will be the ones that will endorse the Antichrist and you will sheepishly follow them and you will take the mark of the beast. Watch out for your soul. How many books did they withdraw from being canonized? How many books? So we have access to the living war. The fact that there were books that were not allowed in now, the ones we have, do they in any way contradict God? The ones that the 66 books that, that were written by 40 different authors inspired by the Holy Spirit. Do we have any one of those books or whatever you think have been distorted in the in the books? Any distortion in the book? If Even if there were distortion according to Anno Sike, okay, if those distortion are against what you are doing, because it means that, all right, if the books were not canonized or if other books were added and the distortion according to you did not happen, it would have supported what you are doing. Is that what you're saying? It would have supported, you know, things that you are saying that are not scriptural. Okay, now, do you want to write your own Bible? All I'm saying is, now, since the Bible, you know, has been distorted and there are other books that were not added during the time of canonizing the Bible, they should have been about 72 or 102. Now, do us a favor, leave the Bible for us. According to you, that distorted version, that incomplete book of the books, we are okay with it. Those of us that have not sold our souls to materialism, those of us that mammon has not seized our souls, we are okay with that 66 books. We are okay with the level of distortion that has gone on inside. Now, it was that distortion, okay, that we are using now to fight you. Now, I get it. You are against it because the things you are doing don't tally with what is written in the book. So, what is written in the book, that distortion would have been the other way around. Then it would have been a book authored by the devil. If, if those distortion, distortions are working against what you are doing, working against what you stand for, and you would have wanted it the other way around, it wouldn't have been inspired by the Holy Spirit. So, according to you, they were written by men, authored by men, canonized by men, assembled by men. The Holy Spirit has no part. He has no part in it. And Holy Spirit is so so powerless that he could allow men according to you to assemble these books that were authored that were distorted ah jesus is lord we have access to a living world my ministry is not for now we are planting the seed of the future yeah. ew kenyon in his time he was like me preaching things and people were saying this man is a physicist he's an occultic man he's talking nonsense i'm talking about 1940 1940 something this man was there preaching revelation, deep things. Then all those that that caused him died. That generation died. <laughs> A new generation came. They couldn't even stand it. So it was the generation of the great move of Hagen. Great men like uh, Catherine Kuhlman and uh, great men. They rose in that move. What a man wrote many years ago, what a man wrote many years ago caused a revival of the future. Of the future. Why? Listen, hold on, hold on. Why in his time he was rejected? Called all kinds of names, but he stood strong because he knew who gave him that work. He knew who called him. If you if you knew who called you, if it was God that called you, why not also be patient like the man you are talking about? Did he discredit the Bible like you are discrediting the Bible now? Did he call Christianity a movement started up by the devil? Did he call Christianity a, a in a movement started by Satan that has the hand of Satan in it? Now I thank God that you are now affirming that at least there have been men ahead before you that have been criticized. They were criticized and they kept a you know, calm because they indeed knew. Who had sent them they knew who who it was they are representing i want to ask you who are you representing Anosika? are you representing yourself if god has called you and the things you are saying and doing are from god why not wait and allow that god to vindicate you you are this time around talking about a person in the 1940s that you know many years after he he was gone people came to decode and understand what he was he was saying but i want to ask you those things he said those things he wrote were they contradictory did he ever ask people for eight hundred thousand dollars for a visa in the united states because united states happen to be the only place where you can do your ministry we don't have enough ministers there it is this eight hundred thousand that is hurting this man so much plus other things that he is saying and doing all right so the man you're talking about did not did not discredit the bible of course i'm not sure if he was as materialistic as many of you at this time are 
I do not think he was like that. But unfortunately, here you are discrediting the same very bad that even gave you the opportunity to gather the people from whom you requested $800,000 from. It was the Bible that gave you the opportunity to gather them. It was Christianity in the name of Christianity that you could gather them. Anu Siki, I'm talking to you. You gather them in the name of Christianity. And so maybe you've packed enough and you think you've made enough and now you want to veer off. You want to carry them along with you. How many times have I said this in this video? I said many of your pastors will be the ones that will encourage you to accept the beast, the mark of the beast and they will tell you, no, it, it doesn't matter forget about that thing that is written in the bible that thing that john was confused when he was he was writing those things it will happen it will happen today we are in a generation enjoying what he wrote those days you can't pray in tongues try to pray in tongues they will silence you there were certain mysteries those days that this man stood for that the, the, the then known church rejected and persecuted him but he kept on writing he kept on writing so pastor john has been preaching and he's on the youtube it's everywhere why is my message going viral what type of anointing has god placed on it that people cannot help it who why is this guy's message all over <laughs> why is it all over it's called the anointing of expansion. Meshach anointing. Uh, Meshach what? Anointing is the anointing of expansion, multiplication. So when you carry such an anointing, whatsoever you touch, it multiplies. Lift your hands up. I see Meshach anointing upon you. Meshach anointing upon you. Well, um, this is where I'm stopping the video. Of course, it's almost the end of the video, so uh, I took it to the end. For those of you that would want to find out uh, why is it short, go and ask him because that is that is the one they made available, and that is the one that we are looking at. Brethren, I'm out of here, but I want you to mark what I have just said to you. If you don't get down on your knees and get busy with the Bible, and at least when you hear people talk, when you hear preachers preach, please go back home and do your own homework. Consider what they have preached and find out how true it is. Don't make the mistake to swallow what they say, line, hook, and sinker. If you do that, the Antichrist is coming and the Antichrist will reign over your soul. We have men and women who are parading themselves as closest to God. But I want to tell you that they are as deep, far away from God and closest to the devil himself. I'm not just talking about Anosike, I'm not talking about Anosike just now. But then for him to say what he has said against Christianity and against Christ, against the Bible, whether you like it or not, when, when any ambassador is slapped, you know, it is a double incident. It is an assault against the country. All right. So when you which country or which ambassador of a country goes to a, you know a, an, another country and is discrediting and castigating and uh, criticizing the constitution of his country, the same constitution that threw him up as an ambassador. So you you find out that 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 is not the right representative of that country. So for any preacher to have issues with the Bible, Anosike now has rubbished the whole Bible. Selman, Suleiman, uh, Ritabai, and so many others are having issues with Paul together with the, 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 the Muslims. Now Anosike has said the, the Bible was distorted. Things were inserted into the books before they were canonized and they should have, shouldn't have been the books canonized. Is that there, was, there are some that should have been removed, others could have been added. So, use your, my people used to say, use your tongue to count your teeth. And uh, someone that does not know where rain started drenching him will not know where and when the rain stops drenching him. It is a parable. Consider that. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Then, from me to you, Shalom.